Hello everyone, welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome back to Summer Heights. A um, bit of a smaller episode today as we're just building a few little details in the harbour area. The main one of which, as you can see in the title, is a lifeboat. And before we get into that, I'm just going to show you a couple of little buildings that I put in next to the coaster station itself. Um, I started building this before really thinking that we haven't got a transfer track in for this coaster. So I then removed the path to the left of this building and put a small transfer track in. As you know, we are going to try and go for realism when we can in the build. Not ultra realism details, but just you know, bits and bobs where they're needed like this. Um, very, very basic transfer track, just three poles and then a sort of shed with a door that you could imagine would would open. And uh, yeah, it's visible from from around the park, but because of how it looks, it's sort of themed up to to, to the harbour theme so it, it works well in the area um, you know like rather than going for a big metal shed building we just go for something with the same painted wood as the rest of the area and a, a wooden shutter that goes up and down so a lot of the time guests aren't really going to notice the uh, the transfer track and the shed itself because it will just look like it's part of the facade itself so that's all in place there i also add in a few small pallets and I thought about putting a shipping container there but then i thought no we're going to keep all that to the other area of the park where we have all the shipping containers already and yeah like like i say just putting in some pallets there um, we've got some ladders in, we've got the big sort of barnyard door which you see on some of these sort of shipyard harbour type buildings sometimes um, and yeah really that's that's about it for the builds there so I just extend out the body of water here so that we can got room for our lifeboat which is something that I wanted to have a go at building. I had no idea if I'd be able to do this or not because I've not really tried much like this before in Planet Coaster. But yeah, it came together okay. We're just using, in fact, it's mainly built from shapes. Um, well, pretty much everything's built from shapes, just with a few like extra details like the stairs and stuff. Um, and then we use a couple of the TMTK pieces for the ship's windows um, and then I even use sort of uh, little detailing from the sci-fi pack which works quite well as detailing on this boat um, I don't know why I wanted to build a lifeboat I just thought it would look nice in the area and I'm really glad I did because it's probably the best sort of custom scenery item I've ever made in the game to be honest because I'm not really that good at doing this sort of thing normally um, it is quite awkward using shapes and stuff and getting everything to sit in the right area where you want it in the right place rather where you want it so yeah it was quite a time consuming build um, quite a lot of the build is cut out in the time lapse here uh, just because yeah it took so long to do but it's um, you'll, you'll see it at the end in the cinematics in all its glory I started with this bright orange colour which probably would be more the right colour for this boat I mean it looks it does look right but when I zoomed out and looked at it from different areas of the park I just thought it was glowing too bright um, so I toned down the colours a bit and made it a darker sort of more reddy orange 
um, which is a shame because this probably could work with this colour as a good blueprint. But yeah, for, to fit in with the rest of the park in the area, it just looked too bright. Um, just draw too much need to, uh, too much attention to itself. Uh, from a distance so yeah I did have to tone it down a bit um, which was also a pain in the bum because it meant clicking on every part individually as this is all in the same group um, but yes yeah, it's, it's fine you know sometimes you have to make sure things fit in with everything around them rather than just uh, just exactly how you want it and yeah, like I say, other than that, really, it's just the small, small details on the boat. We used some of the, um, one of the fences is actually really good for sort of barriers around the edge of the boat. Um, I don't know any technical words for any parts of boats, by the way. Just, just, just the fences that are around the edge to stop you falling in. Um, basically, you know, the ones that you lean over the edge on uh, to have a look down on the Dover to Calais ferry I suppose <laughs> but yeah it's scenery pieces like this that I'm going to try and do one big scenery item like this in every different area of the park because I think they work really well um, and it's just nice to have your own custom stuff in a park and that's something that I really enjoy building actually uh, really enjoyed seeing how it all came together so yeah like I say there just putting the stairs in there's quite a lot of um, industrial type building pieces um, and sci-fi building pieces and stuff that work really well in this sort of theme that I'm going for here um, work well at replicating what 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 I'm going for I suppose um, for the actual door into the cabin there, I just used the submarine door that I've used on other parts of these builds, just from the TMTK. Um, again, I've only just started using stuff from Theme Maker's Toolkit because it really, you know, there's some really nice stuff on there. Um, but I've just never really had a look at it before because, again, like a I have said a few times now I'm still quite new to the game I've been playing it for just over a year now um, so yeah I was still getting used to all the DLCs and stuff I still haven't looked through every single piece in the game there's stuff in this game that I don't even know about yet to be honest um, but yeah there's some things that you just need the TMTK for um, in some builds but the um, the other thing I was going to mention back two episodes again when I built the coaster and the station um, I built a life ring out of shapes and I was saying oh there's got to be that's why I went on the TMTK website to look for or, or on, on the workshop sorry to look for um, for a life ring I couldn't think of what the name of it was because we, we call it a life boy, I think, in England. But in the USA, it's known as a life ring, I believe. Um, and there wasn't one on there. But I realised there was one in-game anyway. And I just stumbled across it while I was building this. So I replaced my terrible, crappy, made-out-of-shapes one and put the in-game one in. Um, and it's a lot better. So I'm glad we have that piece because... I mean, that piece works in f with this theme perfectly. Um, and it was a piece that I, r I was really searching for. And I can't believe that I couldn't find it before, actually. Um, you'll probably see me put it in, in just a sec here. But yeah, for, I'm going to leave you with the, the music for the rest of the time lapse. Um, the, the other things we sort of build in this episode are a couple more harbour buildings, just building up the facade. Uh, which is almost complete now. Um, and moving on, I need to finish the dark ride section for the coaster, um, finish the launch section, maybe do a bit of work on the track and supports it if I feel like doing so. Um, yeah, there we go, there's a life ring going in there. And um, 
yeah, then you just build a sort of area around a flat ride, maybe with some shops and stuff to the left of all this, uh, where the other path leads off to. And um, maybe try and find some way of connecting all the paths up, because we don't really want too many dead ends and things like that in the park. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, it's coming together nicely. Definitely a project that I'm going to continue with this this one. I'm really enjoying making a somewhat realistic park. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed watching this today. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse on the cinematic at the end. And hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye.